Hell of a view, right? Greatest city in the world, the London Eye. <laughs> a hung London guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Leonardo Darwin, your heavyweight champion of CXW. And I'm here with a couple of things I need to get off my chest. But in addition to that, I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you're going to invariably be a fan of professional wrestling. Therefore, you are in stark need of an education. You're probably obese. You probably suffer from halitosis, low self-esteem. But here I am, temporarily able to alleviate that and lift your spirits. Have you heard of the name Nostradamus? As stupid as you are, I'm sure you probably still have. He is considered by many to be the greatest mystic that has ever lived. He was able once to prophesy the future. And yet, who would have thought that in the late 1990s, his skills would be trumped by none other than the English band, the So Solid Crew? Now, you're probably wondering, what am I referring to? Remember, Leonardo Darwin's lips only speaks the truth. Because in November of 2023, when I became your new heavyweight champion of CXW, it took me just 21 seconds. And during those 21 seconds, I defeated not one, but two of the greatest wrestlers on the face of this earth. Shah Samuels, a former superstar of the WWE. Someone so respected by his fellow peers, to this day he has flown to America to train the future superstar tomorrow. And then you got Zack Knight, the former champion of CXW. By the way, it took me 21 seconds to beat him too. He is undefeated in AEW, traveling the world, and yet I humbled him. And then here we are moving forward this Saturday night in Braintree, Essex, whereby I have my very first championship defense against none other than my old pal, Big Effin' Joe, the pant-wearing family show fella. <laughs> Listen, Joe, I always said to you, pal, it's going to be one of two things that will invariably kill you, Leonardo Darwin or high cholesterol. And I've seen you recently. You've lost several stone. You're in the best shape I've seen you in a decade. I mean, still look at you. It's not saying much. It's kind of like being the friendliest guy in the pedophile wing of a prison, but I digress. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to send you to hell, Joe. And when I do, Keith Flint will be there in those fiery gates welcoming you in with open arms because I hear he's a little bit of a fire starter <laughs> and this is specifically to the people of Braintree and Essex CXW for the last several years have always had a tendency to over deliver I have literally seen before the main event children being carried out to their cars via their parents because they are exhausted this is the one time I am imploring you not to allow your children to leave to the climax of the show and there is a reason for it this is a little deep, perhaps, for a wrestling show, but I am nonetheless a beacon of truth. The children of tomorrow have a bleak future. They are being placed or replaced by AI. They are becoming inept because of technology. We are entering a communist regime in the West, so their future is dissipating by the second. The only thing that they can ensure that they will be guaranteed is misery, suffering, anguish, and disappointment. And that's exactly why I'm asking everyone that's going to be bringing their kids along to the show this Saturday night in Braintree to stay until the end because these kids sooner or later need to understand what it feels like to have your hope set on something only for them to be dashed, vanquished, taken away. So I hope kids... I've seen some children literally dressing as Big F in Joe. Please come along on Saturday. Bring your signs. Dress as Joe. Cheer him on. Because I want you to have your spirits crushed. Not because, well, I kind of do enjoy it. But at the same time, you need to understand that life is suffering. People like me will always be on top of people like you. And the sooner you learn it, the better. Now, until Saturday, I'll see you there. Take care.